Thanks for tuning in to How To's with Morgan and Ashley, two blondes make up right. I'm Morgan. And I'm Ashley. What up? And what are we doing today, Ashley? Today we're going to be going to one of my very good friends. Field trips. Field trip. We're going to be going to Greg Alba's. He's very big in the YouTube community on The Real Rejects. This is his channel. Mm -hmm. He's got a few hundred thousand followers. Pretty mm -hmm. awesome. It's a pretty big deal. We're lucky to know him. We are. We we'll call him our friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to go interview him and pick his brain. He has a movie review channel where yeah. he talks movies watches trailers, gives reactions. So we're gonna interview him with um, how he feels about movies. And all of that. And all that fun yeah. stuff. So, and we're gonna ask him some how-tos as well. Yes! So here we go. Here we go. We're going. Yeah. Cut. Action. <laughs> Cut. Action, that was the wrong order. <laughs> check in the gate. Check it. Check it, check it. Blue 42. That's the ball. Decade. She's been she's been chasing for over a decade. It's been a very, it a very long chase of getting exhausted. <laughs> uh, but it's we're a marathon not <laughs> sprint. That's right. We're interviewing Greg today. He has a movie talk channel. Is that how we say it? Yes. From hot dog vendor to YouTube star, <laughs> Greg Alba's here. Woo! We have some questions about his movie reviewing process and also a couple of his how tos that he has himself. So, I'm going to start it off, Greg. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Tom, ready. Tom Brady on okay. YouTube. How did you get started with a movie review channel? Uh, I got started with it. Okay. Blunt. You want short answers, right? I mean, as short as possible. We want whatever we do you have to edit it. And, you know. Just what's ever in your heart that's uh -huh. not, like, winded. I wanted to do it. Whatever's in your soul that's <laughs> not too long. <laughs> I, I wanted to always write and act, and uh, that is a, uh, a tough thing to go into, to find your way to break through that door. Mm -hmm. And when I saw people were doing YouTube reviews on, on YouTube, of course YouTube, I, I thought to myself, like, hey, this is something that my buddy John and I could easily do. You know John. You've I met do. John. I do like John. He was my beer pong uh, co-champion. Exactly, because you're an alcoholic. We lost by one cup. Let's just... <laughs> Let's just say. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah. So we we thought like, okay, how about this? We could start up a channel and then we could start getting people to buy into our commentary and then down the road we can transition into more creative stuff. And that's kind of what this year is becoming for us behind Ooh. the scenes. It's like, all right, we built up a following, now we're venturing into other creative endeavors on the side while we have this following going. So yeah, I mean I just love movies. We used to watch movies all the time. I love movies. Every weekend. Yeah. We just go to the movies. We did. Constantly trying to make out with me. Big movie goers. Hate it. Hate what it. A, <laughs> yeah. What a shame. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Great. Yes, ma'am. What is your favorite movie of all time? Oh. Ooh, if uh, you have one. Or maybe like top three. If, okay. I could probably do a top three. The Matrix, Terminator 2. Jeez. And The Dark Knight. I sense a theme here. Yeah. I, I love action movies that have great character and great story as well. Those are my favorite kind of films because to me that encompasses everything that makes a film awesome, exciting fiction when you could do crazy, cool movie shit mm -hmm. back with insane storyline too and right. great acting. That's, That's my favorite. True. For I, sure. have, I have not seen Terminator 2. Whoa. And you haven't seen Dark Knight, so Whoa. we have to see some of Greg's favorite time. movies. Wow. I haven't seen a Terminator movie either. That's I okay. Mean, that's not true. I probably haven't, but I was... Only two of them are good. I was a child then, so... My question. When watching a movie trailer, what gets you excited about seeing the movie? I knew the word excited was going to make you laugh, so I didn't take it out of the question. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a silly question. <laughs> well, like, when is, like, the one thing, like, does, is it the actors that are in it that excite you? Is it the the music that excites you? What? <laughs> or the ha ha <laughs> What is it? ha ha I noticed the shit that tends to trip me out the most in trailers is when it is an act, like if it's a trailer we're talking about, yeah. it is when it's like, oh, this is a different type of action scene. This is a mm -hmm. unique kind of action sequence. Gotcha. That's the stuff that can really, uh, I could gravitate towards. Or uh, if, if it has a very specific kind of mood or tone or style, yeah. uh, that, that's the kind of thing that I, 
I don't know. It just really depends on what it is. Like, yeah. I could see a Ryan Gosling trailer and just be like, it's fucking Ryan Gosling. I love this guy. I'd be excited about that. Or I could see Batman kicking ass in a trailer. And I'm like, oh, that action looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, there's so many variables that go into it. It really depends who's behind the camera and who's in front of the camera for me. Got it. To be honest. Good answer. Yeah, that hopefully. That was really awesome. Was it? Mm-hmm. That was, it was awesome. Beautiful. That was a great answer I on my end. Oh, <laughs> All right, ready? What's the worst movie you've ever seen? I, uh, Identity Thief. <laughs> Wait, is that with Jason Bateman and yeah. uh, Nelson McCarthy? Yeah. That was not. I, I did didn't not see that. At first I thought you were going to say Identity, and I was like, ugh, oh, because I love that movie no, with John not. Cusack. But Cusack. Is that his name? <laughs> Cusack. Cusack. Whatever. John C. O. O. Sack. <laughs> I love that movie. So, okay, so Identity Thief. I didn't see that, but... Uh, it's the most annoying film Bateman. in the world. I think I tried to watch it, and I don't think it held my attention. It was the oh, one man. It was the one movie I ever... One comedy I ever saw where I was in the theater, and I got a headache from how annoyed I was by the film. Oh. <laughs> I know ladies, right? <laughs> it's it's hard stuff, isn't it? <laughs> the struggle oh. is real. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Is there a particular genre or a director that's your favorite that like no matter what, you know, the movie you will like, you'll really go see it. it. Like with horror movies, I will go see every horror movie, even if it doesn't really look that good because I love yeah. horror movies. I remember when we were younger, we would go like watch those like B movie like torture porn films yeah, in the theater, well, like they know what's horror enough. movie I want to go see. Yeah. So is there like a genre or a director that like you're gonna see no matter what? Uh, I don't know about if there's a genre I'd see no matter what director anything Quentin Tarantino or oh, Martin amazing. Scorsese. I, I would def like anytime it's one of those two, I I make I'm gonna, I'm going to watch it yeah, probably yeah, yeah. opening night. I'm going to watch it. Because gotcha. I feel like their films, for the most part, see, even if there's flaws, they feel rather flawless to me. There's mm-hmm. always they're, they're always so specifically detailed that even if I don't love it, I always understand what yeah. the character's choices were throughout. Got it. So I think Tarantino and Scorsese are my choices. Oh, Scorsese. Scorsese. Cool. Your question. All right. What summer movie are you looking forward to seeing the most? It's almost summertime. It's almost summer. It's April. <sighs> I'd probably say Atomic Blonde. What's that? It's uh, a Charlize Theron movie. Oh. Where she's, uh, it's from one of the directors of John Wick, and she's okay. playing a uh, okay. a British spy with the style of actions like John Wick, and it looks like oh, the like lighting, it looks like John Wick, but with a girl. <laughs> that's what, oh, that's Jane what like. Wick. Jane Wick, that's what they're calling her on the internet, yeah. Oh, and, cool. And, uh, I just saw that movie, John Wick 2. It's cool, huh? And, yeah. yeah, I really, I, I think that looks like a real, that's, that's like a trailer that I saw, and I was like, ooh, because the action looks great, she looks badass. I haven't seen a trailer. Sexy. Oh, man, you gotta watch What's your what's your number one this question? Is my, this, is, this is Morgan's <laughs> go-to this is my question. Go-to question. I ask everybody this, and I will forever. Do you ever feel like if you have to review one more movie, you're gonna like lose your shit? <laughs> like fuck, <laughs> not another one. I had to do this again and tell them how we feel about it. Do you, uh, do you guys remember that episode of Friends in like the early season when the doctor was, the doctor was like, And he's yes. like, if I have to see one, one more, more. You know. yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 that's why I asked him. that's why I asked That's where she got it from, that's where I got it from, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I mean, as much as I like to give this an interesting answer, I honestly don't. Um, to, uh, well, that's I, I don't. I, I mean, if I watch a movie where I don't really have an opinion on it, then I kind of don't want to talk about it. But most of the time, I'm not like, Ugh, I don't, I don't want to do another one of these. Yeah. Talking about movies is like my favorite thing to do. I don't, and I, and I kind of don't do it that often outside of filming videos right because i do so much youtube that i'm like ah uh, because bef- like i remember when we were younger we all, about, all we yeah. did was talk we about movies, movies yeah. And, yeah but that's i kind of toned that down i like to talk to people more about like real stuff in real life but uh, when it comes to uh, how are you feeling yeah how are you feeling what's going on with you yeah but uh when it comes to movie reviews no i i i really don't mind doing it i, I think it's funny. so fun and it's so cool that people will tune in just to hear an opinion about it. And plus we make it fun, I think. See, yeah, do we totally. Fun. And it's not work. Yeah, exactly. Well, Ta-da. yeah, can be. <laughs> okay, since this is a how-to channel, we want to ask you a couple how-tos. Two fingers. So, how... Uh, never mind. Not right. that kind of how-to. Okay. How to not let movie review <laughs> website... Are... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how to not let movie review websites like Rotten Tomatoes and like, you know, I don't know, other ones... IMDb. <laughs> IMDb, like those. How to not let them influence what you think the movie's going to be like before going into it, you know what I mean? Cause yeah, when I was younger, like when Rotten Tomatoes was first coming out, that mm-hmm. was hard. 
Yeah. It, 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 it weirdly would influence my opinion. But um, now that I look at it, one, th one thing I, I like to do too now is I, I take into account the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes because there's the, the critic score yeah. and the audience score. And a oh. lot of the times, those are very different. That's true. Like the, the critics and sometimes love it and the audiences hate it. Mm -hmm. And then vice versa, mm -hmm. it switches. Yeah. So it really just comes down to, like, I'm not the kind of guy who, who tries to change people's opinion. You'll, you rarely will see me get into a debate, like a serious argument over why a film sucks or why a film's good when someone has an mm -hmm. opposite opinion. I think you just gotta accept the fact that movies are subjective mm -hmm. and that it doesn't matter what the majority is saying. Just feel cool. It just I, What I do is I just, instead of coming from here like a lot of movie people and film students do, I just come from my heart. Aww. And I watch the movie based off how, and I respond to how I'm feeling about it, yeah. as opposed to my intellectual thoughts right, yeah, and yeah, yeah. my analysis and all that. Yeah, because there's yeah. a lot of times that like a Rotten Tomatoes will give a, a terrible score, and it's like sometimes one of my favorite movies. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's no, yeah, that, that, that happens. <laughs> that's definitely happened with me before too. Yeah. So, so yeah, I would just go with what what you're feeling instead of going off of like the uh, the analysis perspective on it. Yeah, that makes sense because everybody hates my favorite movie. What's that? What's that? We bought a zoo. Yeah, a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it, but but that's a it's my heart. But no, I can see. He's like that is a terrible example. Forget <laughs> no, what she no, says. I, I, I can see how one because that is a that's a good feel good family film. It's kind of corny. It? I saw it once. It's kind of corny. It's a little cheesy. A little it. sappy. However, uh, I think there are moments that hit, and I could see how for someone with you know who loves family can enjoy that film. I love that movie. Last question. So Greg's tips on how to review a movie <laughs> come from your heart. <laughs> what he just said, <laughs> which I just realized. Um, what I what I do with, with that is I I sometimes make it. A lot of times we don't have to anymore, but if it's like an important film. You know, one of, one of like the big comic book movies or something, or a Scorsese film. Uh, John and I will do is we'll, we'll make uh, bullet points of what oh. to touch on. Uh -huh. like, like, I don't know, like, name any movie. The, the Count of Monte Cristo. That's okay, her favorite. Count of Monte Cristo, book. right. You read the book no, for I that? I read the book, but oh, they should make me sound so smart. <laughs> I should have been like, yes, I did. It's a hard book to get through. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Morgan. <laughs> I should have went with it. Yeah. I immediately regret that. Yeah, okay, so for that, I, we would make notes on, like, Guy Pierce's performance. Uh, with the guy that played Jesus, forgot his name, which is bad for me to What's his name? This was in the Count of Monte Cristo? Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Like, Jim Caviezel. This. Jim Caviezel. The action. The directing. Like, you put it into categories so you can make sure uh, you're, you're covering it. Or, and if you're doing, like, a spoiler talk, you, you list specific moments or scenes that you want to cover. But then you also freeform through it. Mm -hmm. I think that the bottom line is you got to make sure you're not trying to... I, I think people can always see through when you're trying to be Mr. Intellectual, Mr. Yeah. Analysis about everything. So I think the most important thing is to still just come from the heart, mm -hmm. but also touch on the points that you feel that people want to hear you talk about or, and also try to come up with a point that you think someone else might not have said. That makes sense. <laughs> well, that's all the questions we have. You were that's such it. a fun interview. Great. Great. That was a subscriber these two. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> we appreciate you. it. And don't forget to follow us on at How Two Blondes Make a Right on Instagram. Yeah. I follow them. He does. He does. I follow him. The Thanks for tuning in, guys. Album. Instagram. Oh, the yeah, what's Greg no Alba on rejects. Instagram. This is bad promo. Oh, no. No, it's not. No, the We're real rejects to. on YouTube. It's going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to point everywhere and just figure it out and editing. Don't worry. It looked like she was going to pull the real Greg Alba. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.